Einstein's general theory of relativity explains gravity as a distortion of space-time caused by the presence of matter or energy. A massive object such as sun generates a gravitational field by warping the geometry of surrounding space-time. Taking these ideas, Einstein predicted the existence of gravitational waves in 1916 in his general theory of relativity. But what are gravitational waves? These waves are disturbances in the curvature of space-time generated by accelerated masses that propagates outward from their source at the speed of light. For an analogy, you can think of ripples created on the pond surface when you throw a stone. The simplest system that produces gravitational waves is two masses orbiting their common center of masses. However, the strongest gravitational waves are produced by cataclysmic events such as colliding black holes, supernova, or colliding neutron stars. So how are these gravitational waves detected? As gravitational waves passes through space, it stretches space in one direction and squeezes in the other direction, and vice versa. To measure this, scientists at LIGO, which stands for Laser Interferometer Gravitational Waves Observatory, has built 4 km long L-shaped tunnels and uses lasers to measure the changes in the distance between the ends of the tunnel. Though the space stretches and squeezes, but speed of light remains constant, so any change would create an interference pattern of lasers on the screen. This is how the setup works. In the middle, there is a beam splitter and here is a laser which shoots light and it gets split. The wiggly thing in it is the electromagnetic wave making the light. It then reflects back from the end mirrors and comes back to the beam splitter. As both the lights have spent equal amount of time, so they just cancel out each other due to wave nature and there is no light at the detector. Now comes the gravitational waves. It stretches one arm, then the other arm and makes the light come at the detector. Because the time it takes light to go to both paths is no longer exactly equal. Ultimately. After four decades of hard efforts from scientists all over the world, on September 14, 2015, at about 6 o'clock in the morning, humans successfully detected the gravitational waves for the first time, coming from about 1.3 billion light years away of two colliding black holes. And it sounded like... 